So welcome to another vital tutorial. My name is Kolesko and today we're going to be looking at the text to wave tech text to wave table feature in vital. Now, before we get started, I should mention that th this is definitely in the paid version, but I'm not entirely sure if it's in the free version. Um, and if it is in the free version, you're limited to you. You're probably limited to just a couple of text to waves um, that you can do now. Uh, in practice or in your productions, you might not be using this so much, but it's, it can provide a nice layer for you. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now we've initialized this preset, but let's just do it again. Just so, you know, we're starting from dead scratch. And the first thing you're going to do is um, you're going to right click right here on the face of this wave table and you're going to hit this text to wave table. Now it's, what's going to pop up is this text box and then this little English US on the bottom right. You can click this English US and then you'll see that there's a variety of different uh, flavors. Uh, I mean like languages, sorry. Uh, languages and a couple accents as well. So we got like, you know, French French and French Canadian, uh, uh, you know, English US, you got the English as the, uh, you sound like you're from London. And then you got your English Australian, which I'm not even going to try, mate. And um, that's pretty much what that is. Since I predominantly speak English, English is pretty much the only thing I've used. So let's say if you want to, you're from another country and you want to use, I don't know, Mandarin Chinese or Japanese, I don't know if it accepts characters. Uh, but if that's the case, that'd be freaking cool that, you know, a free synth or a tech basically free, free synth um, allows you to do something like this. Now, we're just going to click English US because that's where we're from. And then you can type anything here. Um, let's just use the word cell phone. And ta-da, it's, you know, pushed out this wavetable that's going to sound like a robotic version of what we're saying. Now, if you hit a key, you'll see me hitting keys down here. It's not really going to do anything, but the way to get the words out is to take this bar, which is, I guess, a knob, but, you know, it's not a knob for whatever reason. So this bar knob <clears throat> and uh, we're going to scroll through it like this. And while we hold down a note, cell phone, perfect. Now, depending on how fast this is going is how fast we're going to hear it. So we can do really fast cell phone. You know, or really slow. Cell phone. You know? Um, and then the next thing I would do is probably to automate this or modulate this so that it's moving at a consistent pace. Uh, the best way to do that is take this LFO one. And uh, initially, it's probably going to look something like this. So we're just going to drag this all the way to the right so that it's a consistent gradual slope. And then we're going to drag this to this bar knob. And now you can hold down a note and it'll sh shoot it out, um, you know, more consistent. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. Right. And then if you want something to go faster, this is where you would do it in the frequency. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. Cell phone. Uh, if you want to do it in seconds, so it's not really, you know, synced to the time in Ableton, you can do cell that. Phone, cell 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 phone. Yep. And uh, just for this example, we're going to keep this in tempo and we're going to keep this at a half cell phone. Right. OK, now, uh, now that we got it saying what we want, now let's make it sound like what we wanted to make it sound like. Uh, the first thing I like to address is the width of it all. And um, so you might think this voices down here is how many voices are saying it, but this is polyphony which means how many keys you can hit at the same time. Right now we can hit eight keys at the same time. Uh, Cell phone. Something like that. But the problem with this, uh, I mean, it's up to taste and what you're trying to get and what you're trying to do um, is that if you hit keys at different times, it's going to start at different times. And like this. Cell phone. Cell phone. Now it seems like you're in like an alternative universe where everyone is trying to make you buy Apple products and stuff like that. Um, but in this case, we're just going to bring this all the way down to one so that when we change notes, 
it's cell phone. gonna cell phone. just only cell play one note at a time. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. So how do we get that idea, th that feel of a lot of people saying it? Uh, it's gonna be in this unison voices. And if you drag this up to, I like to do five so that there's one in the center. Um, if you want, if you don't want center information, you can just put it at six or an even number. And, but we're going to do it at five because we want a little bit in the center. It'll sound something like this. Cell phone. There you go. Now it sounds like there's a bunch of robots saying it. All right. Now to double down on that, we're going to go to this effects tab. And uh, we just got to make sure this is going to, you know, this is, it's going from filter one to effects, which is pretty much the same as this being highlighted into effects. So uh, that's exactly, that's perfectly fine. And then we're going to go to this chorus and let's see what it sounds like before and after we just put on this basic chorus. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. It's not a lot more people, but it still sounds like they're in, there's more in the room. Cell phone. Especially when you mess with this mix knob. Uh, we're just going to do eight. That's fine. Keep this mix around like 50%. Cell phone, cell phone. Or something like that. Now you can also do a bunch of post processing if you want. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy with it. Uh, but maybe you can add some, like a, cell phone. Cell, cell a little phone. bit of distortion. Maybe you want to add a flanger. Cell phone. Cell phone. To get that more robotic sound. And um, I don't know, maybe a filter with a comb, which is kind of overkill. But we'll do it anyway. Cell phone, cell phone. Um, and now we got kind of a processed robot, right? Now, um, we're gonna go back to this voice tab and then click on this spectral morphing. And uh, pretty much it seems like this vocode was made for text to wavetable, if you ask me. So we're gonna click that and um, if we if we get this knob all the way to the right it'll sound like a kid robot and then if we go all the way to the left it'll sound like a man robot yeah he got a little bit of chest in his voice you know um he got hairs on his chest and stuff like that this guy so you know this is kind of a coming of age feel uh cell phone cell phone cell phone really cool just you know sweeping through it um, but you can do stuff like take this LFO, throw it on the vocode and do it kind of in the backwards sense. So it's going down. Cell phone. Cell phone. So it kind of has that, that feel of, um, I don't know, evolving. It has like an evolving feel. It's just another effect that you can add onto it. Now I would be careful if you do it in the opposite respect, cause it does morph the, the words. Cell phone. Cell phone. Like, I don't know what a shoal fun is, but th that's what it's shooting out. And I don't want it to say so shoal fun. So maybe you can do it like in the middle and uh, so that there's not so much movement to make it like warp the words too much. So I like doing it this way, um, but I, I'm pretty sure it just depends on the word. I mean, I'm also only doing this in English, so it might be different in other languages. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea of it. That's how you use a text to wavetable. And um the oh yeah. Um this is pretty important. Uh the timing of the words don't come out properly. So in this case we have two words. So I'm going to I'm going to divide my LFO section into like two parts. One for the word cell and one for the word phone. And all you got to do is double click here so that you make this empty dot. And uh, cell phone. it's not going to do anything immediately. Um, but like, let's say if we want the word cell to come out faster, we can just drag this up a tad. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. So sometimes you might have to adjust this middle one because you have to find the end of the word cell and the beginning of the word phone um, or whatever words you use. Cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. Now, um, really important as well is what kind of mode do you want this in? I prefer it in sync mode because if, okay, if you're only going to hit one note, cell phone, cell phone. 
that's perfectly fine. But if you want to vary between the notes, sync mode is the way you want to combat this uh, idea. Because if you keep it on trigger, it'll just constantly repeat the the big from the beginning. All right? That's not what we want. We want it to say cell phone. Cell phone. All right, now um, it does have a click and a pop, so you have to make sure that your MIDI is kind of overlapping so that the on uh, your ADSR doesn't, your envelope one here doesn't kind of um, restart the sound and you won't have so many clicks and pops and stuff like that. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure everything it's in sync mode if you're going to be cell using phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. if you're going to be using different notes and stuff like that. Um, and you don't want it to restart. So yeah, just make sure that's uh, on sync mode there. Once again, you can always change the frequency if you want something slower or faster or something like that. Um, now, the only issue with it is... Cell you see how like sometimes it starts at different times that's because it's linked to the internal bpm that's going on in ableton and uh you can hear it in the metronome if i turn the metro metronome on this will follow the metronome right so it doesn't sound like it's in perfectly in time which is when you wouldn't have to drag these I don't know if that's better in time, but you, but you would just have to toy with this depending on the words because it doesn't come out perfectly. Um, but yeah, this is how you mess with the words. You just got to make sure you divide it into separate pieces and mess with kind of the uh the arcs or the you know the slopes of all of your sounds here now, i have made a example just previously before i uh, shot this video and um let's open it up here this is the this is i guess a vocoded a uh, vital vocoded version of you know the the daft punk harder better faster stronger and um you know if i were to just put this on the saw wave uh, it'll sound something like this right but if we turn that off and go back to the oscillator one it'll sound like this now um now if you don't have things overlapping here i'll show you if you if you kind of have things even like this and they're not overlapping then they're not going to legato really and it'll come with clicks and pops ugly right so easiest way is just just drag all these out a little bit so that they're overlapping and you have a cleaner signal now the timing of it isn't perfect i would probably resample this and um and then like go into Ableton and you know stretch it out however I want it to be stretched there. But that's pretty much the idea and that's how you can use this in your production. I don't know if it's strong enough to be a main vocal thing for you uh, successfully, but I think in the background of things and just to add a little more flavor, you can definitely use this. So go ahead and toy with it. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'm also going to leave all of my socials on, down below. And also, if you want to check out my music, that's going to be down below as well. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. If you got, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. What is this? Peace.